Hi, I'm Dr. Ken Farian, and I'm a physician in Chio's emergency department. I'm also the father of two school-aged children who have recently been ill. As parents, we are worried about the ongoing outbreak of H1N1 virus. Over the last few weeks, Chio has seen a very high number of children in its emergency department who are suffering from the H1N1 flu. Many parents are asking themselves, what symptoms should they look for? How should they treat their child while he or she is sick? And when should they seek medical attention? I would like to answer some of these questions you may have. What would usual flu symptoms look like? Most children with influenza develop a sudden fever of greater than 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.5 degrees Celsius with a cough, sore throat, headache, sore muscles or fatigue. Younger children may also have diarrhea. When the fever is high, the child is more lethargic and irritable. They may appear to have trouble breathing because the fever makes them breathe quicker. These symptoms usually improve when the fever comes down. These symptoms are expected and any child with the flu will have some or all of them. How can you tell if this is a cold rather than the flu? In comparison to the flu, a cold usually has a lower fever that is more gradual in onset. Your child may have a stuffy or runny nose, mild cough and possibly a sore throat, but generally remains well. When are symptoms considered more severe and when should I consider seeing the doctor? If your child's condition suddenly worsens, you should seek medical attention. This would include a marked change in the pattern of their fever, a fever that's no longer responding to medication, a fever that comes back after it has been gone for more than 24 hours, fast breathing that doesn't go away when the fever comes down, significant trouble breathing at any time, constant chest or abdominal pain, vomiting for more than four to six hours, or excessive irritability, weakness, or sleepiness. There are some instances where you should definitely bring your child to the emergency room or call 911. These include if your child has blue lips, is having difficulty moving, is confused or disoriented, has a convulsion or passes out, or has not urinated in 12 hours. In one of these cases, make your way safely to the emergency department. We recommend that if you are not calling the ambulance, you should have another adult drive you and your child to the hospital. At the emergency department, will my child be tested for H1N1 influenza? Will they receive other tests? Will they receive medications like Tamiflu? We are only testing very sick patients who require admission to hospital. The most common virus in our community at this time is the H1N1 virus. So if the doctor feels your child has influenza, it is most likely H1N1. Most children do not require any other tests. Tamiflu is only prescribed to those children with high risk conditions or those who are very ill and are admitted to hospital. Most children only require medication to treat the fever, like Tylenol or Advil. Your doctor or pharmacist can help you know how much medication to give, or you can check out our fever pamphlet on the CHEO website. Should I be concerned that my child has H1N1? H1N1 is a new strain of virus causing illness very similar to regular seasonal flu. Most children are no sicker from this virus than other flu viruses. The difference is that children and young adults have no immunity to this new virus, so more people in the community are going to get it. It is mainly the number of patients affected, not the severity of illness, which makes this situation a pandemic. When will I know my child is improving? Generally, influenza causes the child to have symptoms for five to seven days. The child should start eating better and want to be more active once they have less fever, aches and pains. If the child fails to improve or improves then worsens, you should see a doctor, especially if they are having trouble breathing or a fever comes back. At the end of the day, a parent knows their child best and your instincts as a parent will guide you to make the right decisions. Thank you for your time.